Hi, I'm Raquel. I'm really happy to talk to you. Well, I'm Raquel from Fangeles. Um, I have to say I love the show and can't wait to see more. So. Oh, thank you, Raquel. It's nice to see you. <laughs> thank you very much. That's great. Well, I have to confess that I see uh, Kyra and Alex together, like a couple. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So any chance that we will, see, we will see them together again? Well, we haven't yet been given the go ahead completely for a second season, but I can tell you that I'm working at the moment with Guy Burt on the uh, scripts for future episodes and series. And Kyra's name has come up in our conversation once or twice. So uh, there is every possibility. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm really excited about it. Well, uh, talking about season two, congrats for the new. And um, well, can you tell us something about season two storylines or uh, in secret? Well, we we don't know yet if, if season two has got the go ahead. Um, so we're not sure about that yet. We don't think we can talk about that just now. I can just tell you this, Raquel, that um, the season one was received fantastically well in both the UK, where it premiered, and then in Europe, and the buzz up has been really great about it. So we are in full preparation for season two. Uh, and all I can say to you is there are 13 books so if you want to know what the stories are going to be like for seasons three, four, five, six, all the way through to season 13, by which time Otto will be middle-aged, um, um, it's all there in the books. Thank you. Okay, so I guess you will be on board for uh, season three, right? Or four, five, or... Anyway. We'll have to see. Do you know what? I'm happy. I, I feel lucky enough to be able to do one season of this show. So if we get to go again... Um, multiple times or even just once I'll be I'll be a happy happy man um, and I just want to say <laughs> Barry and say that it would be very difficult for me anyway to think of doing Alex Ryder now without him as the main part because yeah. in the show he so nails it him and Brennan together I've had the entire cast they just get it exactly how I imagined it all those years ago <laughs> okay so it must be very difficult for you uh, Anthony uh, being the creator of this of the universe uh, to decide uh, to cut part of your book. So how do you and the rest of the team uh, chose that what so stay, what so retains and what to cut? Well, first of all, I didn't write the series. I was only an EP on it, although I was involved with the scripts. They were written by a guy called Guy Burt, who did a fantastic job, I think. Um, and as far as I was concerned, I knew this, and I work in television and film as well as writing books, and I know that when you do an adaptation, you're going to lose things, you're going to have to change things. I only said one thing, which is where it had to be true to the book, which I think it is. That is to say to the characters had to be true to the characters. And I wanted the ironing board, or rather the snowboard scene, which is the amazing escape from Point Blank Academy, that had to be filmed. I wasn't going to let them cut that. And they did an amazing job on that. You wait till you get to episode six. It really is breathtaking. Yes, I love that the scene is so cool. I mean, if I knew this was. So, <laughs> uh, I really like it. Uh, well, uh, this is for you, Otto. Uh, Alex experienced a lot of emotion through the season. His whole life uh, changed several times. How did you prepare emotionally? Uh, for this for this challenge? I think um, for me, what I went through and what Alex went through, goes through is not actually too dissimilar in that this was a massive step up for me. I'd done some work. I'd, I, you know, I'd been trained in some ways, um, having had previous experience working on film sets and stuff um, and TV, but I had never been thrown into a role this big or this um, demanding. And for me, I had to adapt really quickly and I had to rise to the challenge. And, and that was a really great challenge for me. And I, and I loved it. So to be honest, I didn't emotionally, I, I did all, all the work that I usually do on characters, but I think I was put in a similar situation. So I didn't have to do that much in that way. Um, it was a lot of the physical side was, was some of the, I, I got down and dirty with, but the emotional side, I sort of just threw myself in and, and adapted. Well, you're not it, so congrats Thank for you. that. <laughs> Thank you. That really means a lot. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. And I can't wait to see Alex Rider season two. Thank you, Raquel. Keep well. Bye, Raquel. Bye. Bye.